Have you ever heard the term Internet of Things or heard the word sensors? All the electronics around us have these sensors that can sense the things in the world around it and then be able to use that information to do certain things. I'm going to teach you all about it. Stick around. All right, so there's this company, Tesla. Maybe you've heard of it. They make some of the coolest cars out there. And they're electric vehicles. It's really nice that they don't use gasoline, but some other really cool things that they have is that they're able to stay in their own lane. If you put on your turn signal, they'll actually lane change for you. They almost drive themselves. If a car slams on their brakes in front of you, they'll stop. If a car slams on their brakes two cars ahead of you, they'll stop. They can see all the cars around them. They can make decisions for you faster than you could make the decisions. And it's pretty amazing. I want you to see how they see. This is a video um, that was posted by the channel Green The Only. And it says, Paris streets in the eyes of Tesla Autopilot. So I'll full screen that. Let's hit play. I want you to see, this is what the car is seeing. Now it's seeing this in 360 degrees. So all the way around it. And this might be an old version. I'm sure there are some, uh, the newer versions that are seeing even more. But I'm going to pause this. You'll notice this can identify this as a vehicle. It knows this is a vehicle. It knows the distance. I believe that's the distance to it. This one is, uh, is much closer, 4.2 meters. This is 12.5 meters away. It knows that this is a vehicle. This is a vehicle. However, this is a pedestrian, someone walking. This is a pedestrian. Let's continue it. It knows where the road is. It marks that as green. It knows where the lanes are by marking the lines with yellow. Let me fast forward it. It can identify a bike. Now I believe these are the percentages or the how sure it is that it is a bike. So it's 100% sure that's a bike. 100% sure this is a pedestrian over here. Parked cars. If we pause it, it says these vehicles. 27.4 meters away. This is pretty amazing and it can see all the way around it. When we're driving a car, I don't know if you're old enough to drive a car or not, but if you're driving a car, there's no way that you can pay attention to everything around you. You're paying attention to certain things, right? Whatever your brain believes to be the most important is what you're paying attention to. Hopefully it's not your phone, right? Your phone should be put away. but. You're going down the, the road and you're paying attention to maybe what's in front of you, maybe something to the side. But Tesla, I don't know what's going on here. Tesla can pay attention all the way around it and identify everything and make decisions based on that. It's pretty amazing. Look at this. It knows it's a bike riding. Now, I, there's one where a motorcycle goes across. I don't know if this is a motorcycle. We'll see. No, that's a car. Uh, it knows the difference between a bike and a motorcycle. It does all of this through different sensors. So let me show you some examples of sensors. So a lot of us carry cell phones with us. Okay, this is a, a cheap Motorola G5 Plus. Um, you know, $150 brand new. This one's cracked. It's been fun. You know, it's not a top of the line phone. However, it does have sensors in it. It knows when it's facing upwards. It knows when it's facing down. If I want it to be on silent mode, I just have to put it face down on something. It knows. It has a camera so it can see. It knows when it's facing this way. It knows when I shake it. Watch. Turn down the flashlight. It knows when I twist it. I'm going to twist it. It turns on my camera. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, it knows these things because it has sensors. It's able to see things, okay? It's able to, to sense my, my fingerprints right here on the sensor. It's able to sense a lot of different, pretty amazing things. Other things that electronics can sensor that we, that can sense that we can't. It's a normal remote control, controls my TV. It's probably 10 years old. It has this little thing on the front of it. It's an LED, light emitting diode. And what it does is it, it emits light in the infrared spectrum. And we'll talk about that in another video, but basically you can't see it. So if, if you looked at this with your eyes, you wouldn't see anything. But electronics can see things. So let me, I'm gonna press the volume button. 
Let me show you. Your electronics can see things that we can't. I can't see that light. That light is not affecting me whatsoever. But my camera can very easily see it. And that's what your TV is seeing when you're controlling it with the remote control. It sees that light. It's pretty amazing. Other sensors in my phone. I have a microphone so it can hear me. It has a speaker so I can hear it. It has the camera so it can see me. It also has, and I don't know if you can see, other sensors, those blinking lights. I can't see those blinking lights. Maybe that's a proximity sensor so it can see how close I am. I'm, I'm not sure what it uses those sensors for. I'll have to look into that. Lots of different sensors in these things. Pretty amazing. It can sense where my finger is on the screen, right? It can sense the temperature. It can sense where it is on Earth through a GPS. I want you to learn about all these different sensors, and I've created a Quizlet that I'm going to provide you in the link below. Okay, I want you to go to that Quizlet and I want you to check out some of the major sensors. Then I'll also provide you some links to other videos about sensors. All right, watch those, check them out, and, uh, and stick around. Well, I guess check out my next video on sensors, and I'll give you uh, an activity to do to learn even more. So I hope this was... Uh, I hope this was worth your time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.